Oh, come here, Mr. Sluggy. Come, 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 come. Slug DNA blue. Wait, we're getting DNA from slugs now and not using them as an overclocker? This mod is just getting wilder and bloody wilder. DNA. Oh, not in here. Slug. That's not in here. Maybe I need to unlock it first before we find out what we can do with it. Because if we can maybe farm the slugs or breed the slugs as part of the fix-it farming that's involved with this mod, that could be interesting. But guys, I want to thank you so much for the love and the support on the first episode of this little uh, mini-series we're doing here before 1.0 launches. And uh, yeah, you guys killed it. So thank you so much for the love and support. Not only did you kill the video as well, you smashed that like button out the bloody park. And uh, I'm going to make you a little challenge. As of me recording this, it's currently sat on 530 likes. And if you guys can make it 531 for this video, within the first 24 hours of me dropping it, I will release another video, which will be episode 3, within 48 hours. So hopefully you like little challenges, so make sure you pass it on to your friends, family, loved ones. Uh, and without further ado, let's start this video for today. So, as we know, last time, we actually started, well, I placed these foundations down, right? At the end of last episode, because this is the place I kind of wanted to maybe look at adding the copper production. But I've had a change of hearts. I think I'm going to add it above this iron, and then maybe we put the tin above that one. So, what I need to do now is remove this... I'm then going to remove these foundations here and then figure out what we want to do here. So I'm more than likely going to go up by about six foundations. And then I usually pull out a one meter foundation about there. Like that. And then I'll probably go with more than likely that height. And then maybe go with like an underfloor in there, right? So that is our underflooring, and then above will be our copper. Obviously, we can't really do underflooring right now, but I'd rather be prepared for when we unlock floor holes. And we can't really do that yet, because if we actually go over to the MAM, and we go over to the Tier 2 section, we want to get the rewards. And the rewards require uh, tin sheets. It also needs modular frames. It also needs copper pipes and 400 zinc plates, which is out of our scope right now. This is a lot more items than... We're not even automating any of these. So this is four out of reach. But I've noticed something in here. An awesome sink storage mark one. And this allows us... It contains 24 slots for storing large amounts of items. It has one input and output for conveyor belts. But if you power it, the items in the last slot will automatically be converted to awesome sync points, which is pretty cool because that's going to eliminate when we do a storage module. We don't have to put smart splitters at the entry point or into the input of the storage and then get that sent to resource syncs where normally we have like a room of maybe about 20, depending on the amount of lines we have for storage. So... That is pretty cool, but we need to work to that, and that's going to be kind of far off right now because the awesome shop's in there also, and that means we can't get any of my tools I like to use, like the road barriers, the walkways, so we can't do any curves yet, we can't do any half blocks and all this kind of stuff. And a lot of my design tools are in that. So right now, everything is going to be very much bare bones, and it's going to very much look like a skeleton until we get that going. But... Back to the project at hand. Let's start working on copper in three, two, one. Right, so the first thing I've done is I've actually put the miners down and I've added the foundation to the next floor. So all I need to do now is just connect this belt up to there. And then what we've done is we've got this uh, miner, that miner over there, and then that miner over there merged at this point, which will go up onto this lift, which is a Mark II to send 120 to the next floor. So if we actually look here, uh, and if I scan the Seraphite, we can see we have this node here, which is an impure. The one to the north of us is an impure, and the one to the east is a normal. So that's going to be 60, 30, and 30, 120. And then if we go onto the next floor, I can then start putting the crushes down. Because so obviously we're going to need two crushes. So let's go with a crusher, and we're going to place you right, uh, let's say, there. And then we can place another one here and then we're just going to get the splitters and i'm going to put two down even though the second one's not going to be needed i'm just going to put you there and we're going to put you 
right there. So we can put Mark 1 inside there, a Mark 1 to there, Mark 1 there, and then a Mark 2 from here to here. Obviously, we don't need a Mark 2 along that belt right there because this crush is going to consume 60 of this. So this will then put it down to a 60 here. And then once we've got that, what we need to remember is that these crushers have dedicated outputs for the item. And as we learned from the iron, the um, stone is going to come out the right output and the crushed seraphite or the crushed rubai or the crushed styrotite are all going to come out the left output. We need to put down a constructor and obviously we need to send the stone this way because the smelters, the constructors and everything, but the copper is going to take more room. So we've got this room to build over here. So first we're going to put down a constructor. I'm going to put that line up with this output here, but I am going to bring it down a little bit here say about there and then we're going to get ourselves a merger and place that here we're going to put that straight into there like so and what i'm going to do is we need to make sure the stereotype goes to the right and then we need to make sure this goes here so what i'm going to do is we're going to grab on mark when or mark one mark <laughs> mark one and we're just going to place that let's say uh, there and you oh actually hold on it did the weird bug which is actually in vanilla as well so when i place that there it doesn't actually line up right you can see how that's not straight if you actually just use the mouse wheel mouse wheel and just scroll it once you can kind of see it snaps to the 90 degrees sometimes it does that it's weird uh it's something to do with uh a belt bug which has been in the game for you know a good good while uh now that we've got that we need to bring over this one um so with the output of this stereotype i'm actually gonna bring this straight down into probably a merger here so let's get a merger and let's go from the output to let's say there that means you're going to go straight into that one because then i want to get this output of this stereotype we're going to get this to raise up which will be say around there raise up we're then going to get you to come to over here so i'm going to put down the conveyor pole for there get you to attach to that you're then going to come down into this but i want to get you coming up here raise down into there like that I am going to need to remove that pole because I do need to put an input there. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to get a stackable conveyor pole and put you there like so. We now need to get you to go up and then into that hole right there. So I'm going to bring you across here, raise you up, take you across by two. I want you to kind of go along this line, I think, uh, and then down. So I need you to come to, say, around there. So let's bring you up one. Oh, I can't connect that to that, right? I might have to connect you a little bit further forward. Or I could just go like this. Bring you out. I can then get you to come along here. You to come along here, like so. You to go up here at this belt, like that. And then you to then come over here, line up with you. Bada bing, bada bosh. We've now got that turn. So that is that now done. It looks crazy, but we kind of have to get used to doing this kind of stuff with this mod pack because the amount of um, like byproducts we're going to be making and all that kind of stuff it gets uh, is it's going to get a little insane, and it's only going to get worse from here as well. So I can't wait for start looking at underflooring and all this kind of stuff. So right now we have the stone going into this constructor, and these crushers sending the uh, sapphire in this direction. So we are bringing 120 items this way. So the next thing we want to look at is we want to put down the smelters. So as we know with the vanilla um, copper, it's going to be, you do one to two ratios with copper. So we want to put down a constructor just to have a look at the recipes because we don't know if they've changed or not. So we kind of want to make all copper items if prefer well, preferably we want to. So we have copper sheets, wire and copper rods. So each smelter is going to give us 30 ingots per minute copper rods is going to need 15 per minute so that's a one to two ratio from a smelter to two constructors copper sheets requires bus bars and bus bars requires 30 ingots which is a one-to-one -one with the smelter um so we're gonna do and then the wire comes from the rods right yeah okay so what i'm gonna look at doing then is we're gonna separate our smelters so if this is gonna be coming along here we then can put our smelters let's say uh inputs say around here maybe about there so that gives us enough room for the smelters and then we have enough room for the outputs here okay we can do that so let's do that and then we can just make them make sure they're all the way along here we're gonna need four right 120 divided by three is four so you you 
and then you. And then from here, this is going to give me 30. So let's say, for example, we make rods in the first one. So let's get a splitter to go here. We're then going to need merge. Oh my God, I can't wait for Blade Runners. And then we're going to need a constructor here. I think that's too far. Let me just jump up here. Okay, no, that's, that's too close. We need a constructor there. And then I can put another one at the side of this. So then at 15, 13 got coming out of here at a Mark 1 belt to go into that constructor, which will then go into this constructor. This one's then going to make copper rods at 15 per minute. Going to make copper rods at 15 per minute. We're going to do another constructor right here. And that 15 rods are going to go straight into this one where this is going to make copper wire. And then we're going to copy that recipe and we're going to paste that in there. And then we're going to make sure we connect this one up with a Mark 1 belt. And then we're going to put down a merger, let's say there, where we can then put a Mark 1 belt into you, Mark 1 belt into you, and then we're going to put down another constructor to go here, which will then have 60 wire per minute going into, where this will then make cable. So now we've got 30 cable per minute because it requires 60 wire. I need to actually extend this foundation out a little bit more because we're going to need room for like the storage and all that kind of stuff, right? So now we've got that, we need to work on the next smelter. So this smelter, we could actually get making just the wire. So we need to duplicate what we have here. So we're going to bring this over by two times. We're at one, two, and then this one over. One, two. And then things start getting simpler. As soon as you start laying your constructors out, everything will, should start matching up. So we need a mark one from there to there, you in there and there. And then you're going to make rods. I'm going to copy you, paste you in there. You're then going to make uh, wire. Copy you, paste you in there. Make sure we belt these up like so. And then that is rods done. So I am going to merge these as well. So we're going to put that in the middle. And then we're going to do mark ones into there like so. And now we have this as wire, this as cable. And then we need to look at the production of sheets, right? So we have two smelters left. So we're going to get both of these to do probably bus boys. So if we have a look at the recipe here, uh, to make copper sheets, we need bus boys. So let's do that one here first. So let's get this constructor to line directly up with this one. And you're going to be a direct input, right? Because the bus boys requires 30 ingots. This is uh, going to provide 30 uh, crushed sapphire and it's going to output 30 ingots. You're then going to go into another constructor, which will then go into there, which will make the copper sheets so 20 bus bars you're making 20 bus bars and then that's you done so then we can just bring this up here i'm just bringing these belts here just so we can know it's a finished line and then the next one i'm thinking of making the rods right what else are we going to do we don't we have copper bus bars i'm maybe thinking rods because we're not needing the copper bus bars because the copper bus bars basically right are the variant of plates for copper, right? So let's get that to be rod straight away. So if we get you to go there, and then you to go there, and then we'll get a splitter into here, and then mark ones like the others directly in there. You're going to make copper rods. You're going to make copper rods. And then I can alter this if need be when I need to, right? Um, and then we're just going to need a merger. Uh, let's say uh, right there. And then we have our copper rods. And the copper rods can technically go into storage. So now we have that. And then we have... That. so that should be four items in total but we also have the concrete right and the concrete is then going to come over so we're going to need five storage containers all together so now we've got cable well we've got concrete cable um wire what was this one copper sheets 
And then this will be copper rods. And then if I need to, I can just alter this this platform here and then just put one constructor to make bus bars if need be and just send it into one of these, right? So I can like turn this machine off, go over to this machine, turn this into uh, bus bars and allow that to run because obviously this will back up when need be. But obviously right now we don't need that. So we're just going to do that for now. Otherwise, I'll need more copper to bring in. Um, so now we need to look at storage. So we do have quite a bit of room. Let me just finish this bit off. And then we're going to put down the constructors. And then after connecting everything up, we've now got things running. Things are running nice and smooth. And we've now got the storage down also. So like we already know, we've got the concrete. We've got the wire. We've got the cable. We have the copy sheets and copper rods being stored. Right, so the next basic recipe we need to start working on is rubite. And as you can tell, I've already put a miner down and a little bit of a foundation. So if we head over back over to the base now, you can see we have it going up an elevator onto a third floor, which I've placed down. And I've already put down the crushers and the basic smelters. So I already have the rubite coming in, which is then making the stone again, just very similar to the iron and copper, which then goes into a constructor right here to make concrete. And then the rubite makes its way and merges together to make a 120 line, which then goes into these smelters to make tin ingots. And I'm not going to lie, the tin ingots just remind me of like a Cadbury's chocolate bar you can kind of get <laughs> just without the wrapper. You know, it's like the tin foil on the outside of it. And then I've got them tin ingots making their way into these constructors right here. And as you can tell, I've already got the smelters going into a one-to-one -one ratio into these first two constructors. And then the next ones going up, I've split them down as well. That's because if we if I pull out a constructor here and we head into the tin section, we have tin rods, which is basically... 15 tin ingots into 15 tin rods, which we're seeing this as a common occurrence now with all the basic recipes from copper, iron, and tin, uh, all being kind of like similar ratios. Hence the reason I kind of skipped this little bit, bit of me putting place in this down here, because I've technically just done it with a copper and it's near enough exactly the same. The only thing different is basically we're now building this way instead of to the right. That's, that's literally it. So if we go back over to the constructor, we can see there's only tin rods and tin sheets and tin plates. So tin plates is a one-to-one -one ratio. Then we have tin rods, which is 15 ingots into rods right here. And then we have tin sheets, which is 20 uh, plates into 30 sheets. So if we go back to the tin plates here, uh, we can actually go with uh, tin plates into one-to-one -one ratio right there. And then we have tin wire down here, which is 15 rods into 30 wire. So what we're going to do is on the end ones, these ones right here are going to be making the rods. So that means we need a, another one in front, which is going to be like the saw, which is going to make the wire, the tin wire. This one's going to make the tin wire. And then we're just going to get the 15 output from this one into here like this. And that will make that. We're then going to merge this line together like so so that's the wire done and then with this one this is going to be making rods but what i'm going to do this time is i'm going to put down a merger right here like this to take you into the you into the so now this is making this is 30 rods per minute coming along this line this one is going to be uh plates so tin plates so we're going to bring this one over here and then the next one we're going to make a one-to-one -one ratio because this one will be tin not tin plates uh tin sheets which requires 20 plates per minute and as we know this is producing 20 plates per minute so one-to-one -one ratio with that and now that is the uh the sheet setup so now all I need to do is get these powered, put these into storage, and then basically we've got tin set up. So like I said, it's basically new enough the same as the copper set up, the iron set up. It's just 120 coming in, the 120 being split into two constructors here, which is 60 and 60. That outputting 60 crushed um, rubite and crushed rubite in this one, which is 120 rubite going along there which then goes into these smelters and smelts them at 30 per minute, which outputs 30 ingots per minute. And then they go into the designated either plates or rods down here. And then they make the products or the uh, the plates and um, rods, which are here. So we've got wire coming out of there, copper sheets going down of there. Then we have the concrete coming out of here, which is five again, very, very similar. 
to the copper setup. And then once it's all powered, we have it looking something like this. And obviously everything is now moving into storage. And if we head downstairs, we can see the copper down there as well. Obviously we don't have lights or anything yet because that's all stuck in the rewards milestone, which is under the awesome sink. And as you know, from the beginning of the video, that is gonna be a little bit further away. Because as of right now, we don't know how to make zinc and zinc's gonna be hidden behind another milestone, which we wanna look at in the future for sure. So to go over then, on the bottom floor, we have iron. The second floor, we have copper. And then on the top floor, we now have tin. So what is the next step? Well, if we head over to our hub, we wanna look at the next milestones. We've got glass walls, which requires 1000 crushed stone. So I definitely need to make one of the concrete uh, assemblers stop working to actually, so we can grab some of that, especially 1000 of it. So we can unlock sand, which will allow us to start placing some windows down if we want to. I'm in no rush for this right now, just because I don't have any building materials, for example, concrete. I don't really wanna be building with, you know, the, these foundations. I'm not a big fan of them. I do like the clean concrete foundation, so hopefully soon with them. And then we have the improved manufacturing, which gives us the assembler, so we can start making like reinforced plates and rotors and lead which is interesting. So I wonder how we make lead. If we look into ore sorting, ah, it's in here. So we'll start making lead from this and the sorter, this building can split ores into component parts and thus extracting different ores. Okay, so when we put this, to, oh, it's got three outputs. It has three outputs on that machine. Interesting. So let's select this milestone we need more reinforced plates. Can I make three more reinforced plates? I can. Let me just handcraft that and then send this away, send that off. And let's have a good look at what this sorter can do for us. So out here, we now have the sorter. I need, I need more reinforced plates. Uh, I need five, five more reinforced plates. And I think I needed two more tin sheets also. Let me just get a couple more tin sheets. And then, yeah, we can place this down. So let's have a look at this. So it's a big boy machine. So it's a new building style. It has three outputs, just like we saw on the the image. And then it's also got th three, oh, two inputs and a liquid input. Okay, things are about to get spicy. So the only thing we can produce in here is the tier one sorted rubite. So you put 120 crushed rubite in, which will output 90 crushed tin, 60 crushed lead, and 20 crushed stone. All oh, things are getting spicy. So we can already see the kind of routes we have to take with this, right? So we already know if we get a miner, it has to go into crush crushers. The crushers are outputting 120 when there's two of them crushed rubite. So then this machine goes after the crushers and that's going to output crushed tin, which is a new recipe. So crushed tin would go into a smelter, which will, yeah, crushed tin and it outputs 45 per minute. Oh, this is spicy. Just the, the reason I say that is because if we're making what 90 per minute, 90 per minute here, we're going to need three smelters at 45 per minute, 45 times three is 135. And we don't have the belt capacity for that. So the way I'm seeing this being utilized is we need to get 45 tin ingots, right? We already know if we look at a crusher, oh, I need a reinforced plates again. If I put a constructor down, we already know the rods recipe requires 15 and also the plates recipe requires 30. So that right there is where we could utilize the 45 tin ingots. So like I said, constructor, the iron rods, uh, it's tin technically, the tin rods require 15 per minute, and then we have the tin plates at 30 per minute. So that means from, we have to put two crushes down, so two crushes, the two crushes output will go into a sorter. The two crushes are also outputting 20 stone per minute so 20 stone from that crusher set 20 stone from that crusher goes into this one that means we're going to make 90 crushed tin 60 crushed lead and 20 crushed stone we need to then get this crushed stone here that's going to come out of this machine to merge with the crushed stone that comes out of these two crushers for example that will then make a 60 line which will then give us a fully optimized constructor for the concrete recipe because that requires 60 because our other ones right now if we head over here, 
is only receiving 40 because this is outputting 20, 20, and then that's merging together to auto 40, just as I stated at the start of this video. So that sorter actually allows us to add the additional 20 for that. So that's that sorted. And then the 90 crushed will go into the here. And then we have to use the crushed lead. And the crushed lead, I'm guessing, will go into another smelter. Uh, lead, yeah, at 30 per minute. Okay, so we only need two smelters for the crushed lead. So I don't know what outputs are which here. So we need to science that. And this is going to require a whole new episode. And that can actually wait until next time. So thank you so much for watching. Check out my other content out right here. And as always, keep bloody smiling.